The Convention on Wetlands, known as Ramsar, is an intergovernmental treaty whose mission is the conservation and wise use of all wetlands through local, regional and national actions, as well as international cooperation, as a contribution towards achieving sustainable development throughout the world. Since its establishment in 1971, the Convention has progressively grown and now has 168 contracting parties or member governments. There are now 2,168 Ramsar sites covering almost 207 million hectares of wetlands and associated habitats. In 2011, Zimbabwe became a signatory to the Ramsar Convention. The designated sites in Zimbabwe are Chinoy Caves, Cleveland Dam, Dreamfontaine Grasslands, Lake Chivero and Manyame Complex, Monavale Flay, Mana Pools and Victoria Falls. Dreamfontaine Grasslands, one of Zimbabwe's seven Ramsar sites, is located on central Zimbabwe. Dreamfontaine Grasslands is an important bird area, an area that is rich in birds and other biodiversity. Being located outside protected area systems, the Dreamfontaine Grasslands is communally managed. There was limited awareness about the Ramsar Convention in this important communal area. As a response, BirdLife Zimbabwe, in partnership with the Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF, an environmental management agency, local authorities and communities organized an awareness event in the Dreamfontaine Grasslands on the 18th of July, 2014. Today we are here to raise awareness about uh, wetlands. These are important wetlands as they support um, critical key bird species that include the white crane, the grey crowned crane, the, and the secretary bait. So as Bed Lab Zimbabwe have been involved in raising, uh, in raising awareness and promoting conservation of wetland and habitats of these uh, wetlands. Uh, WWF is an international conservation organization in over 100 countries in the world. Um, we have an affiliation with Ramsar International as we feel that wetlands are vital resources and ecosystems to us. In Zimbabwe, we have been supporting EMA, the Environment Management Agency, as well as the Ministry of Environment, Water and Climate. And um, we've been assisting with the Ramsar processes in the country. And this event that we're at today is part of the committee's uh, subcommittee, which is the communication subcommittee, and trying to educate and make the communities aware on Ramsar processes, on wetlands and the importance of them. Seven sites were designated as Ramsar sites in the country, Dreyfontein being one of the seven sites, and it's a wetland that is falling in a communal setup. Um, this wetland is one of the wetlands that has got international recognition, and as such, it is important for communities to continue sustainable utilization of this wetland so that it is beneficial or we develop a number of programs or projects that we can benefit out of this. The local community has actively participated in this event, especially the women and youth. Involvement of influential individuals in the community ensured a successful awareness campaign. Twitter, Teacher the notary will never be the life. She reads, Zaganaka irefu. Zinokara kunjimbo nyoro. Takatauri avan, kutimusat, uraya. She reads, Zinodiwa kune kwanavan, no fakunet mention, but this is. The local involvement in wetland management can substantially contribute to effective management practices that further Ramsar's wise use objectives. School children from Shashe Primary participated with music and dramas, an indication on how the local community have a sustainable solution 
to conserve and protect the Drimfontein grassland wetlands and bird species which habitat the wetlands. Local conservation groups were awarded certificates for their efforts in conserving the wetlands and bird species and the Drimfontein grassland wetlands. Tino fara zikuru nekuwa na certificate yekuwa to buta ziziswa tika gona kuchenge teza. Zuwani kwa zuedu ma wetlands neshiri za tino garana zomu na raonda matiri. Tino tenda ve Beds Live Zimbabwe, neve EMA, neve Agritex. Magona kushanda neswa chiti ziziswa kuchenge teza ma wetlands edu. Uye zene shiri za kakosha, zima ori ori, nema makre nzi ese. Wetlands and Drimfontein grasslands are not only important for the people who are living in this area, but are also essential for the communities living around the Drimfontein grasslands area. There are a number of rivers that originate and or pass through this area and support many communities downstream. The conservation of the Drimfontein grassland wetlands has far-reaching implications for both its local communities, bird species and the environment. <laughs>